Guys, in this video, I've got a little Banggood special to have a little play with. Let's have a look. All right, we've got a choice of three here, and I think in this video, we're gonna do this one. Subscribe. Actually, hold on. Subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you're epic and give us a thumbs down if you suck. <laughs> oh, check it out, guys. So, to get the body off, four clips. So, it comes with battery, charger, radio, instructions, and obviously the car. So it's four wheel drive, double wishbone suspension up front, and coming onto the rear, we've got a solid live axle. And although the diff isn't locked, it is very tight. So the suspension's a little bit bouncy. No idea if you can put oil in the shocks or not. But anyway, I'm not gonna bore you with all the techno babble, so I'm gonna put a link down below where you can get all the specifications, and also where you can buy one from. And did I mention, it's dirt cheap. Well. Dirt cheap to some of you, some of you always tell me off. So to charge it up, you plug that into there, and that into there. And you have to put four AA batteries into the controller, but you need to supply these yourself. All right, all charged up, battery is in, so to turn it on, all you need to do is switch on the controller, plug in the battery, and boom, we're good to go. So the steering on this has got plenty of speed, plenty of power, and speed-wise... Meh. Not the fastest, but this is only the brushed version. They also do a brushless version, and I'm gonna put a link to that down below, and that one's gonna be a lot faster. But also, a lot more expensive, and more likely to break it. So the body's got this protective film on it, and you should really peel it off, but I'm gonna leave it on there for its first couple of runs, just to make the body shell last a little bit longer. All right, let's try it out. Here we go, full power. <laughs> Actually, look what I just found. It says high speed model, children's model, and open. So is this a switch under here to make it go faster? Some sort of a key in there. Hmm, so we can turn that to the red somehow. That should go faster. So in with the instructions, you do actually get these keys. And that goes into there. Turn it into high speed mode, and now it should go faster. I'll tell you what, I like the idea of it being the key, because kids will soon figure out that there's a switch somewhere to make it faster, as I did find out with the HBX Rampage. The Rampage does have a switch on top to make it go normal and slow, and I gave it to like a five year old, and uh, she figured it out within like the first 30 seconds how to make it faster. All right, let's see how fast it goes. <laughs> That's better. All right, let's try it again. Yes. Oh. oh, check it out. Donuts. Backflip. Guys, this is a like a short course. It's not really supposed to do stunts. But that was close. Let's see if we can do it slower. Oh, oh, that is so close. I reckon the brushless version would definitely do it. <laughs> All right, can we do the staircase of doom? All right, here we come. We're gonna do it slowly try and not crash. We have brakes, we have steering, we have everything. What do we have? No! Oh, tumble, rumble. Ah. Oh. All right, let's get it outside. Oh, it's dark. Right, it's another day and now it's light. So let's see what this thing can do. All right, here we are at the skate park. Let's see what this little thing can do.
hard, tumble bumble. So far so good. Oh! 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 Oh, and it takes it. Oh, on the nose. Man, this little thing's taking it. This little thing's loving it. Look, you can slide it. Ah, oh, tumble, wumble. Footage. <laughs> Footage. Man, I'm liking this thing, man. This is non stop hit after hit. Can't say that. Oh, oh. oh, guys, back in the shop, and I am super impressed with this little thing. That's what she said. I mean, it hasn't got any oil in the shock, so it's a little bit bouncy. Uh, but considering that, it still handled so good. It took the jumps well, took the landings well, it took the crashes well. It slides around, it drifts, it donuts. Uh, I mean, I haven't really got anything bad to say about it. I mean, one little damage here. Uh, the bumper sort of pulled out of these screws here. Or, yeah, broke off. Uh, but considering the abuse that this thing took, I mean, that really isn't bad. So the body shell took a little bit of a beating, but it may look bad. But if you remember, I did say that I'm going to leave the protective film on there because then I can peel it off afterwards and then the body shells should look Almost as good as new again underneath. So there you go, almost looking as good as new again. I tell you what guys, I really do like it when companies use solid rear axles on these kind of like desert racery, short coursey type trucks. I mean, it makes it look really realistic and the way the suspension moves and everything, especially when you put it into slow motion, uh, I mean, it just looks epic. I mean, that's partly why I like my Traxxas UDR so much because of the solid rear axle, the suspension and everything moving away. Uh, it just makes for some really cool looking slow motion footage. So any Anyway guys, this is the brushed one, so that's why it's relatively slow. So they also do the brushless one, which is going to be a lot faster. I'm going to put a link down below to both of them. Obviously the faster one's going to be a little bit more expensive, but for what you get here, I mean, I really can't complain. 
But anyway, guys, uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash the bell button to stay notified. Give us a thumbs down if you suck, and I'll see you in another video. So if you click on one of these over there, I'll see you over there.